Libra. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Serafina Safi, and I'm going to be doing your um, reading today. I'm with Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that I do have a new website and it's in the description box below and I do offer private readings. Um, I have two different types. If you click, click on my website and you go to shop now, that's all of my recorded readings. I record them um, as soon as you order them based on your questions they are custom and then I put them onto YouTube unlisted which means that you can only view them if you have the direct link and then I send you the link within 48 hours if it takes longer than 48 hours I would email you and let you know if I get like too many orders all at once um, that could be a possibility um, and those are a little bit cheaper and then I have book now and if you click on book now you can book a live Skype call with me where we meet face to face and we can talk on Skype and those are a little bit more expensive um, and it's a two-way conversation and you would um, click on that and you would choose a time and date that's convenient for you and then um, we would have our live Skype call on the time and date that you choose. There is a four hour advance, so you have to order four hours in advance with those um, because I would need to be able to be notified and get ready for our Skype call. Uh, so that's why that is happening. So I just want to let you know about that. So let's get started with your reading. Um, so this is the Energy Oracle. What is the central theme of Libra's reading today? All right, so there's the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. There's issues with your communication. Um, so you're having issues with being an effective communicator. Communication is the central theme of our reading today. And I'm going to be doing a Romney Gypsy spread. It's, it's like a variation of it, so it's not traditional. It's, it's a little bit different, but it gives me a very good thorough reading that I feel and I am using two decks put together um, so every card has two of the same card and I do read reversals for, so for every card there's four different outcomes that could happen um, so I need three cards for Libra's current state of mind June 15th through the 31st three cards for Libra's state of mind okay so the first card is the six of pentacles this is all about payday um, this is charity, this is getting hired, getting help, hiring help, um, getting back on your feet, um, a rescue, getting paid, um, from going from rags to riches. This is inheritance, this is the card of Taurus. So this is earth energy, it's a very practical energy. This is I have energy, um, it hates change, this, this hates change. It's very patient, um, steadfast, very stubborn energy, kind of being very possessive and practical and a little a little jealous, very sturdy and grounded. Um, it doesn't want to move, it's very, uh, it's building something, it's building, it's very slow and steady energy. And things are coming in, finances, your health is improving and it's coming in, it's coming in slow and steady. What else is Libra's current state of mind? All right, so I have Justice Reverse, so this is your card, but this is in the reverse, so this is you being on your head. This is divorce, separations, lawsuits. There's imbalances here. Um, there's unfairness. There's blaming others. There's arguments. There's being crooked, corrupt, um, feeling victimized. So there's things are coming in slow and steady and you recognize that in your state of mind however you're also feeling victimized and like things are out of balance and unjust not not fair uh, what else is going on with Libra's state of mind what else is going on with Libra's state of mind what else is going on with Libra's state of mind Right, so I have the chariot reversed. 
Uh, there could be car problems. This is the card of cancer, so there could be some manipulation here. There's codependency. There's a lack of control. There's a loss of direction. There's giving up, letting go, uh, feeling overwhelmed, wearing a mask to hide your true emotions. Um, the relationship struggles, overreactions, uh, feeling overwhelmed, um, emotional outbursts, uh, manipulation, there's uh, feeling sentimental, nostalgic, um, memories, a lot of memories, being dependent on somebody else, being clingy, a little bit of a lazy energy. This is all about I feel, how I feel. So there is conflict with your current state of mind. In the beginning, we have this earth energy, which hates change. And then we have your energy, which is air energy, which is the winds of change. It's all about change. You can't contain air. Um, earth wants to be stable, grounded. It doesn't like to move. Air goes in and out. You can't contain air. Um, so there's two side by side. There's a lot of conflict there uh, between things coming in uh, slow and steady and you feeling like there's an imbalance, like there's you feel victimized. And then there's also that loss of control, giving up um, because of this, this imbalance. So I need three cards to help. Libra to improve their situation, their self-improvement, spiritual development, and health. Um, three cards. Three cards that will help Libra. Three cards that will help Libra, please. Right, the first one is the Queen of Pentacles, and she's in the reverse. Um, so this is being money mad, out of date, being self-centered, being a poor housekeeper. Um, there's emotional abuse here, there's um, environmental abuse here, there's being neglectful, obsessive, possessive, possessive. there's a mean spirit, poverty, like a wicked witch, um, it could also be prostitution, and that would be Capricorn energy. So it's very cynical energy, being like a, a social climber. Right. And then we have the Six of Wands in the upright. Um, so there's success, victory, you're the winner, uh, strong leadership skills, determination, receiving awards, being recognized, you should be proud of yourself. Um, Leading while others follow. Great news altogether. It's the card of Leo. So this is fire energy. Um, so this is I will. It's very loving, loyal, faithful, um, affectionate, dramatic, entertaining, theatrical energy. Okay, so... The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is looking towards the past. It's She's looking towards past financial failure, um, past financial hardships, past poverty. And the Six of Wands is moving towards the future, and he's very successful. <laughs> There's a parade, and everybody is publicly recognizing the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is channeling all of his ambition. He's channeling all of his energy, enthusiasm, and strength, and that's what you need to do too. You need to be fearless and um, get over things easy and uh, get things done, get her done. What else is going to help Libra? All right. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you do have good luck. There is karma here. Um, this is, I always see this as Sagittarius energy. Um, this is unexpected rewards, growth, abundance, good timing. So the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. And again, this is fire energy. So it's telling me that you need to let go of this um, 
repeating change. You need to let go of, of this being stubborn and resisting change. And you need to head towards victory. You need to head towards the will of fortune, towards um, towards growth and abundance. And you will be victorious. You need to be ambitious right now. You don't you don't need to be stuck in the past. You need to be heading towards the future and being very ambitious, and that will help you along your way. So what is going on in Libra's family and home life? Three cards for Libra's family and home life, please. Three cards for Libra's family and home life. Okay, so I have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, no, I'm sorry. That was the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> the Queen of Wands just came up for the first time. And uh, the Queen of Wands is very independent. This is Aries energy. Again, we have this fire energy. So this is very independent, outgoing, spontaneous, sexy, radiant, healthy energy. Uh, she takes charge of situations. She's determined. This is, you can do this. There's exercise, getting active. Um, there's, uh, in relationships, she values freedom. Um, she has an independent life. She's open and honest. All problems are faced head on. She encourages growth and self-acceptance in her partner. Um, she's highly successful. She's a whirlwind of efficiency. She's a brilliant organizer. Uh, she could be an event manager. She acts upon feelings and uses inner strength to achieve goals. She's active in many clubs and social activities. She's always rushing to get things done. She thrives on excitement and drama. She loves a good fight, even if it's not about her. Um, this is Aries energy, but I always see her as Sagittarius too. Um, Sagittarius energy is very outgoing and optimistic and a risk taker, loves to travel. And I feel like that very much mirrors the Queen of Wands more so than Aries. Um, but traditionally it is considered the card of Aries. But Aries and Sagittarius are both fire energy. Um, so it's just bringing in that fire energy. And with the Six of Wands, we have... Um, Leo energy. So we have a lot of fire energy and then the will of fortune. I, that's always, I always see that as Sagittarius too. So I, I would say that we're either talking about a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here. What else is going on in Libra's family and home life? What else is going on in Libra's family and home life? All right, so I have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor, very gallant. There could be proposals or offers being made. There's psychic intuition. There's gut feelings. It's fairy tale. It's charming. It's making a move, giving gifts, manners, searching for love, socializing, drinking, um, making your move, using your imagination. Getting dressed up, um, how can you be of assistance, developing psychic abilities, offering a shoulder to cry on. Uh, he's very romantic and poetic. He's imaginative and creative. He's a lover of music and arts. He's elegant, sophisticated. He's sensitive and sentimental. A true knight in shining armor. He's touched by beauty, soft and gentle, speaks quietly and calmly, in touch with his feelings, is easily hurt or offended, can be moody and sulky. He's in touch with his feminine side. He loves hanging out with friends. He he gets out um, creative projects. He loves to read. He's more into wine than beer. He's good mannered and polite. He's peace loving. He's diplomatic. He sets unrealistic goals. He avoids conflicts. He could be saying that a new relationship is coming in. Um, He's Scorpio energy, so he's very passionate, intense, very sexual, magnetic, hypnotic, um, deep, dark, like as mysterious as the sea itself energy, um, very possessive energy, very spiritual, 
very psychic energy. And then we have the lovers reversed. So this is the card of Gemini, which is also air energy. So there's the winds of change in your family and home life. Um, this is a major arcana card. There's communication breakdowns, which goes back to our central theme of the reading with the fifth chakra. So there's breaks in communication. There could be infidelity here. There's sex being used as a weapon. Um, there's getting the wrong message. There's jealousy, possessiveness, which does go back to the Scorpio energy. Um, being very non-committal. Uh, there's divorce, separation. There's very low self-esteem. There's a lack of self-love here. There's disagreements. Just not the right time to move forward. Um, so what I'm seeing here is uh, there there could be somebody here in your family and home life that's very independent um, and spontaneous who tackles matters head on a very strong person it could be male or female and it's this very fire energy so it's very ambitious very um, temperamental uh, dy dynamic energy and then we have the knight of cups so there's conflict here because the queen of wands is fire energy and then the knight of cups is water energy so it's very emotional and sensitive fire energy is not sensitive at all it's not sensitive to anything not even itself um so the knight of cups is very sensitive and he's very charming and he's the knight is shining armor it could be proposals but then with the lovers in reverse it's not a good time for provo proposals because there's a breakdown in communication. They're not seeing eye to eye. And this is air energy. So this is the winds of change. This is Gemini. This is um, uh, having your finger in too many pies, being very unemotional. So someone's being very emotional and someone's being very unemotional, um, almost cold and just kind of focused on career. Just being ambitious about career and not really focused on love at the current moment. And there's somebody who is, who's very, very sensitive and emotional, who is focused on love. So what's going on in Libra's romantic and social life? Okay, so I have the Three of Cups, and with the Lovers reversed and the Three of Cups side by side, there could definitely be some infidelity or an affair going on around. This is Three is a crowd, or this could just be stifled creativity. This is Cancer energy, so again, we're back in this water energy. This is very manipulative energy. Um, this is very uh, insecure, touchy-feely, uh, overly sensitive energy. What else is going on in Libra's romantic and social life? All right, so there's the Ten of Swords. So we're back in this Winds of Change. This is a card of completions. This is another card of Gemini. So we might be talking about a Gemini here. And this is... Um, a complete mental breakdown, feeling backstabbed, there's a crisis, there's severe conflict, there's abuse, attack, gossip, hitting rock bottom. So you're feeling very, so th there could be an affair, and this could definitely be with a Gemini, or a Cancer, or a Scorpio. So far I'm getting, um, or an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, so you're feeling backstabbed, betrayed, or there is backstabbing and betrayal over an affair. All right, and I have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is Taurus energy. This is Earth energy. So there's a lot of conflict here. Um, this is hard work, it's paying off, all is going well, um, building a nest egg. So that's how it ends. You get over it. I see you getting over it and you're building a nest egg. You're looking towards the future. You're looking towards the future here. You're reaping harvest. Um, there could be a brand new relationship here. 
you're you're getting grounded you're building something new you're being patient steadfast and you're looking you're not looking at the past anymore you're looking towards the future so how is Libra's money what's going on with Libra's money three cards for Libra's money uh, June 15th through the 31st three cards for Libra's money Okay. Three exactly. Okay, perfect. All right, so the first I have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So we have this air energy again. So your money is changing. This is your energy. This is Libra energy. And this is um, a lack of progress and feeling burnt out. Then we have the Five of Swords. So again, we're still in this air energy. This is Aquarius energy. And um, this is conflict, tension, loss when at all costs there could be some abuse here uh criminal violence um physical attacks major losses a no-win situation and then we have the three of swords so there's heartbreak loss deep sadness upset trauma uh, vicious arguments about money hurtful words needs to communicate um Colossal misunderstandings, love triangles, divorce, betrayal. So your money's horrible. And this is all in your energy. This is all in Libra energy. And it's so like weird how it came out because these are two different decks. Um the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords came from the same deck. The Five of Swords came from a completely different deck, and they all came out at once. Um, so there's three, four, five, but they're skewed. Um, five is right there in the center, so there's a lot of conflict here. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of actions. What What's going to help? Leave or get out of all this financial, these financial problems. That's going to help Libra get out of the three cards to help Libra get out of these financial problems. Okay, so I have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is uh, results of hard work, driving ambition, free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle. So this is just telling me that this is what you know is going to give you that lavish lifestyle and it's the empress reversed so there's a lack of growth there's affairs there's immaturity it's not the right time there's a lack of stability there's manipulative behavior um there's over indulgence it's a major life event um both of these are virgo energy so this is being analytical, critical, picky, thrifty, being very thrifty with your money, being very worrisome, being a problem solver. And then we have death, which is Scorpio energy again. And this is another major life event. Um, and it's in the upright. So something needs to end. Um, there needs to be a change, a transformation, a rebirth, out with the old, in with the new. Um, you need to accept change. You need to accept change and release the old. A new a chapter in life is ending and a new one is beginning. So there's an ending here. So in order to gain prosperity and abundance that the Nine of Pentacles brings, you need to mature. Um, you need a stability. Uh, it looks like whatever this affair is really hit you hard um you feel like it's very unfair and it hits your money too it hits you in the wallet so something has to end um it could be a relationship it could be your your workplace and then and then you start something new and this is just for two weeks so it's not a lifetime but it looks like your next two weeks are very hard um a very hard two weeks a lot of conflict here for Libra what is the outcome for Libra three cards for the okay. 
right so we have the queen of swords so this is your energy and she's in the upright this is a boss uh, this is the ice queen this is sharp honest truthful a problem solver if you try to lie you will be found out because the queen of swords is here so don't lie we have the three of wands which is um, fire energy uh, the three of wands is specifically Aries and this is turning your back on the past looking towards the future taking action making a decision leading the way efforts paying off um, there's a new adventure here and then we have the tower reverse so this is a major life event and when the tower reverses it's um, advanced warning of disaster getting out of the way, avoiding disaster, being tipped off, um, rebuilding, salvaging, damage control. So that's the outcome. Uh, you see this before it happens and you're able, there's damage control and you're going on a new journey um, and you're being a boss. You're being a boss and you're getting things done. You see that there's issues here. You see that things aren't going the way that you would like. So you're taking control of your destiny. You're not a victim of circumstances. You're a master of your own destiny. And the whole issue is that you're not communicating effectively. And um, I do see there's a lot of threes in this reading. And uh, threes are delay in success. And there's a lot of completions. There's a lot of tens and ends of cycles. So, the, so some sort of cycle is ending and you're starting something new. Um, so it needs to end so you can start a brand new journey. Is there any other advice for Libra? All right, so the garden and the gate, there could be a child involved um, or this is just getting out in nature. There's a, a metamorphosis, a change, uh, getting fresh air, gardening. It's springtime now. The fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. Um, so there's issues with your heart, taking care of your heart, getting out in nature again, because the heart chakra is also associated with nature. And then there's caring connection, so the, a relationship. So you need to take time for yourself. You need to get out in nature and then you can worry about this caring connection. And I do see this very loving connection in your future. Um, it's here and it's in your future. You just need to work on your emotions. You need to work on your heart. You need to process your emotions. You're going through a really difficult time right now, uh, financially and in your romantic life. There's a lot of painful lessons that you're, you're having to learn and there's completions here. Um, and I do see it ultimately ending and you starting something new. So once it ends, I see you going out and you're getting in touch with yourself. You're processing your emotions. And then I do see a very, very, very strong, caring connection, something way better than what you currently have in the future for you. Um, but I, I see that you're being tipped off and you're avoiding this disaster right now. So that's great. And you also have this new journey that you're going on. Well, Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I would hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings and also meditation and affirmation videos. I am a Reiki master, um, so I do offer healing sessions. And I do offer private readings in the link below um, is my website in the description box. Also, if you like this, please like the video and uh, please leave a comment if it resonated with you. I love to hear feedback. Thank you again, Libra. Have a wonderful day.